Michael, and I would like to share with you what we've been working on recently in Getting Data. Uh, if you're curious about how can you apply engineering best practices into analytics, or how a user-friendly SQL-based data platform can look like, this video is a perfect place to start. Uh, our concept of the modern data platform has been forged into a fully operational framework. What we aimed at was to provide an environment every analytics engineer or data analyst would like to use. Uh, we'd like to offer a state-of-the-art tools for an end-to-end -end data management and reporting. And finally, we wanted to keep it flexible and open for modifications or improvements. So. I hope I've got your attention now. Buckle up and let's get started. In order to maintain an end-to-end -end control over the company's data, the modern data stack is composed of many building blocks. Our experience has shown us the platform built on top of it still needs to be simple to use, easy to maintain, scale up and document. And this is because in a data-driven company, everyone is an analyst. It does not matter if they have an engineering background, uh, can use SQL or just simply want to take a quick look at some parts of your company's data. Half of the success is to provide a platform that offers solutions for everyone wishing to find the information he needs under the rules of data governance and accessing restrictions. Let's start with some of the basic aspects. Is your data team onboarding a new employee or maybe kicking off a new data project? In this case, the platform will offer him his own predefined cloud workspace, a workbench. This workspace is already equipped with all popular tools required for interacting with your data. And like the whole platform itself, the workbench runs on cloud, so any potential incompatibility issues are not of your concern or nor your employees' concern. This is the same for the projects. For de developing new ones, uh, you can use templates. It's very easy to create a template either from scratch or using the projects that have been already developed. You can use everything you have learned from your past experience to improve your further work. Your project is a place where you define and control where your data comes from, how you modify it, and as a result, publish in the form of a report. Uh, this report can be a dashboard, a uh, static presentation, or any kind of analytical output. Let's focus on ingesting data then. Um, here, for example, whenever you have a few or a very large amount of data sources, you can define them and collect them in one place. Uh, it is up to you as a data user whether you want to include them all in your project's destination or just use the ones your data model currently needs. You can follow the idea of having one large data project or conduct, for example, a more agile approach uh, to work with small ones and build your data product piece by piece. Uh, so the modern data platform will support you here by offering an appropriate tool for data ingestion. A great part of every analytical project we've been working on in getting data was related to data transformations. That's why we put dbt as the core point of the modern data platform. Thanks to dbt, you can easily create, modify, document and test data transformation pipelines using SQL only. This is where you can leverage the engineering best practices uh, to model your data and guarantee its best quality even on an early local level. Uh, your local work is saved and can be committed to the development stage where it grants a code inspection and review by your co-workers. You and your reviewer can see the results of the CICD, preview and execute the pipeline deployed with Airflow. And these integrations, in, uh, interactions between dbt, CICD and Airflow are automated, which will help you with overcoming the problem of having too much engineering in your data projects. We learned that when it comes to working with data, data visibility and data discovery play a very important role. Documenting our metadata using Confluence can be okay, but it often requires additional effort, it's hard to maintain its freshness and it's very easy to introduce redundancy. 
This is why a data catalog plays a major role in the modern data platform. It serves as a place you can call a single source of knowledge about your data. Um, in this data catalog, you will store your data documentation, um, table and column level descriptions, links. You will point out data ownership or keep track of data quality uh, on the project level. This is also the place where you can preview the profile of your data and its lineage. Remember when I said something about everyone being an analyst? Data catalog will ensure the data is visible, documented and accessible, which facilitates collaboration and communications between your teams. Data catalog receives an update every time the pipeline has finished its scheduled run. So every change in the pipeline code reflecting the change in your data is notified and it's present there. You and your analyst can do their work while utilizing various business intelligence tools. Some of them may be free, like Looker Studio, or licensed, like Looker itself. The reports will always get the most up-to-date data and if something goes wrong, you can set up the, your platform to inform you about it, for example, via Slack notifications. So, I hope I've shed some light on what modern data platform by getting data looks like. And by now, you see it isn't just a set of loosely coupled modern tools, but an integrated framework forged with software engineering best practices. If you're interested in receiving more details, please visit our webpage, uh, contact us via channels listed below and sign up for a demo. Uh, Thank you for your attention and see you around.